something somber in the eyes of the men. Something of winter in their faces. sun shines brightly and the temperatures above 40 degrees. It's all good for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as we get ready for the NFC wildcard game against the Philadelphia Eagles. To the Buccaneers, it was the recurring nightmare that would not end. For the second straight year, the unforgiving confines of veteran stadium was where Tampa Bay's championship dreams went to die. Four playoff appearances in five seasons was good, but simply not good enough. The lopsided loss to the Eagles convinced team management that the time had finally come to look for new leadership. A month later, the Bucks heralded the arrival of their new head coach. Just quite simply, I'm thrilled to be here. And all I can guarantee is a lot of hard work and effort in trying to put the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, into championship form. Thank you very much. It's that hard! The cost to get John Gruden was steep. A fistful of dollars and a quartet of high draft picks. But from the outset, Gruden revitalized the team with his vigor and passion. He's at full tilt. <laughs> Every day. Come on, man. Let's get a little juice going on offense now. Here we go. He's a more or less a energizer. <laughs> Come on, Marquise. Get your ass in here. Damn, I hate when guys don't ask what to do. I can help you if you ask. John brings a little energy to us. We've been a playoff team, but we haven't been able to get to that next level, and I think John will help us do that. Somebody give these guys the route so they can help us out now. Let's not ask them to be Rhodes Scholars yet. Gruden's mandate? Revamp a stagnant attack by installing a new offense, then acquire veteran free agents to help bring his strategies to life. Ooh, I like that! Damn! Ooh! Love that! Love it! The team goal is pretty clear. That's to win a championship. The ultimate goal in this game, what you play for, is to win that ring. And uh, I want that ever so badly. The onset of the John Gruden era was not what Florida fans had expected. Division rival New Orleans struck early and built a 10-point lead, which they maintained well into the second half. But then the defense jump-started a rally, and the Bucks methodically pawed their way back into the game. Brad Johnson quickly took advantage, firing a pair of touchdowns that cut the Saints' lead to three. Brad Johnson dropping Brad, looking to go in the path. One handed catch, touchdown, touchdown, misses. 241 left there is time. With no timeouts and less than two minutes to play, Johnson drove the Bucks for the tying score. In over 
time, Tampa Bay's mood turned from celebration to exasperation. Top two with a putt. They come after it. He's going to be tackled in the end zone. That's a touchdown on the interception. This game's over. And the Saints have broken our hearts on opening day. Soon after the Buccaneers' disappointing debut, the entire league marked a different kind of loss. The unexpected death of legendary quarterback John Unitas was deeply mourned in his native Baltimore. In their own way, the visiting Buccaneers paid tribute to his memory with an evocative display of hard-nosed, old-school football. The defense held the Ravens scoreless, while the special teams put up all the points the Bucks would need. Backpedaling the truth, Carl will feel it at the 45. Goes one way, comes back the other. Gets the one down to this. Goes two, the 50. Got a wall over there. Got a wall over the 45, 40. To the 35, to the 30. To the 25, to the 20. Carl, the truth, Williams will take back his fifth to the end point for a touchdown. Even with their own offense struggling, the Buccaneers found other ways to score. Oh, that's trouble. It's loose back to the 17. Fuck the Lundgren. We've got to take it. Ah, it's the pile out. It's out of bounds. And it's a safety. Should have been a touchdown. The defense saved the shutout when linebacker Derek Brooks notched the first, but hardly his last takeaway of the season or a touchdown. The league's youngest coach celebrated his first win wearing Buccaneer colors. We got a presentation. One more game ball for our leader, our coach. We gave up draft choices. We gave up money, but that's all right. I saw that Forbes 500. Awesome! Coach Cruz! A nationwide TV audience got its first glimpse of the future champions when Tampa Bay hosted defending NFC champion St. Louis. Kurt Warner and the rest of the bonded Rams attack were cut down to size by the buzzsaw Buccaneer defense, which accounted for five sacks and four interceptions. Kelly didn't quite make it to the end zone. No such problem for Derek Brooks. Dropping Warner gets the, oh, intercepted! 30, 25, 20, Derek Brooks 10, 5, touchdown Tampa Bay! Brooks notched his second score in as many weeks, and the offense chipped in with a patented bulldozing blast from fullback Mike Allstock. The passing attack also shared in the fun. Play action, fake Branch. He throws wide open. Touchdown, Ricky Dudley, a final later. How easy was that? It was even easier six days later in Cincinnati as the Bucks and receiver Keyshawn Johnson routed the hapless Bengals. It's a type of team, you know, when you play San Jose State and USC, that's what you do to them. You bury them. You put your foot right on their throat and don't let up. Johnson's early receptions drew most of the attention from the Cincinnati secondary. Woo! Take three. It take three. To Bengal ball carriers, it must have seemed as if there were 300 Buccaneer defenders chasing after them. As the local fans voiced their displeasure, some of the Bengals players launched their own angry tirades at the Bucks. Shut your ass up! All that screaming! Play football! Man, you a fake ass John Randall! Shut your ass up! Screaming and Fake John Randall! Sorry, Brad, I'm gonna get you killed, but sorry about that. There goes go. Wife shift to strong left, left, right, 59 X in While Keyshawn continued to draw defenders. The Bengals forgot all about Keenan McCardell. Wide open receiver down the left side is Keenan McCardell, and he is going in. 
jumping me. You see all of them jump me, you idiot. Hey, man, you better tell them stop jumping to me. Listen, they're blitzing my ass every play, so you guys just keep your edge hot. All right. Yep. Let me help you up, boy. No, you're all right. Yeah, come on. There you go. Help you up. Nice job. Keyshawn's courtesies were rudely followed by a pair of scoring passes from Brad Johnson to tight ends Ken Dilger and Ricky Dudley as Tampa Bay rolled to its second largest road win in franchise history. You came down here in a short week. There were no distractions. You got after their ass. You guys won a big football game. You're tied for first place now, man. Congratulations. Godfather of Soul was in the house for the Week 5 matchup against Atlanta, but it was the visiting Bucks who belted out the biggest hits. No, it's a fake, it's a fake. Moore's pass, what a hit, Dexter Jackson. Brian Kozlowski has three Z's in his name, and he's seeing Z's right now. Dex got him in the ear hole. Another splendid shot was captured on coaching Polaroids, revealing a weakness in Falcon pass coverage the Bucks quickly exploited. Brad Johnson fade round far sideline. Oh, caught at 50, 45, 40, it's a touchdown, Tampa Bay, 76 yards, and Keyshawn scores his first touchdown. Warren Sapp and friends continued their defensive dominance by not surrendering a touchdown on the road for the third consecutive game. He's setting. He's in trouble. He's spinning away, and he goes down at the 26-yard line. He was and body Fick slammed. Is hurt. Yeah, he was Michael body slammed. Fick is hurt. Big came out, and his replacement didn't fare any better. Doug Johnson at quarter for the injured Michael Vick takes the snap, dropping, dropping. Booker almost got it. Oh, balls in the Intercepted. air. Intercepted. Intercepted. Sam's got it. He battles. Touchdown, Derek Brooks. Four games in a row. The Bucks have scored a defensive touchdown. Second career pick and the lateral for the TD. How fast is that defense? The only thing faster may have been Falcon fans racing to beat post game traffic. The Browns were the next bunch to wave goodbye, providing little more than a faint reflection in Michael Pittman's rear view mirror. Caught by Pittman in the flat, breaks the top of the Buccaneers beat Cleveland for the first time in franchise history, thanks to a defense that did not allow a touchdown for the fourth time in six weeks. Equally as punishing was Tampa Bay's all-pro fullback. First down, there it comes Allstock. Cuts right, outside to the 32, out of a shoe tackle. 35, stays up 40, 45, stays up 50, down to the bronze 49. What an amazing run. Mike Allstott's performance provided a lesson in impossible physics, with defenders alternately clinging helplessly at his feet, then bouncing harmlessly off his pads. Allstott was pure inertia, a body refusing to come to rest. Allstott rushed for a season-high 126 yards, many coming during five consecutive carries that accounted for all the yardage on Tampa Bay's final scoring drive. And Allstott gets the call. Zigzag move, Allstott. The 15 to the 10, running left side. To the 5, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Give the A-Train the ball. Buccaneers carried their league-best 5-1 record into Philadelphia with two goals in mind, avenging three straight defeats while gaining the upper hand for playoff home field advantage. Hostile crowd. You gotta love it, baby. Derek Brooks was fairly hostile himself, much to the Eagles' dismay. Oh, my God! Are you okay? 
Better check my nab on that one. Oh my god. <laughs> they better check him. I saw you cheating over there. They yeah. Oh, I, oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Brooks then got himself into the league record book. McNabb under pressure. McNabb under. Oh, ball knocked away. Loose football. It's loose. It's going to be picked up by Brooks. You are three, two, two one. one. Touchdown, Tallahassee. Thank you, Lord. Ridiculous. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, that's ridiculous. Thank you, Lord. I see you. The defense scores seven points. What a hit from behind. And McNabb pops it up, and Derek Brooks is Johnny on the spot. Fourth touchdown. Fourth touchdown. Defensively by Derek Brooks. Good job, sir. I can't count him from Nebraska. That's five touchdowns. Four. Four. That was five. Oh, yes, Great job, Great job. It was the most touchdowns ever scored by an NFL linebacker in a single season. But soon after, the Bucks' season turned on a routine running play. An injury forced Warren Sapp to the sidelines, and the fans responded in typical Philadelphia fashion. Wow, they're cheering. What? They're cheering. Expect none less. The Eagles were quick to take advantage of Sapp's absence. Play action, McNabb rolling, looking. He has time. He wants it all. He's going deep. And it is caught for a touchdown by Todd Dexter. Go ball! Touchdown, Eagles. Dexter Jackson was beaten by Joe Freestyle's boy. Hey, this one's got to show you maturity here now. Show you maturity. One play ain't gonna beat us, dog. One play ain't never beat us. But one play did end all hopes of a Bucks comeback. Snap, jailhouse blitz, Brad Johnson's pass near side, almost picked off. It's an interception. Boy, that's awful. Even worse was a broken rib that would sideline Brad Johnson for the next game. Philadelphia beat Tampa Bay for the fourth straight time, instilling the Eagles and their fans with a sense of invincibility. Needing the win at Carolina, the defense responded with four turnovers while holding the Panthers to only nine first downs and 130 yards in total offense. On a day when neither team scored a touchdown, reserve quarterback Rob Johnson made enough key plays, and Sean King came in cold off the bench after a Johnson injury to hit a critical completion that set up Martin Gramatica's game-winning field goal. From the 37, good snap, good hope, kick airborne, plenty of leg, plenty of leg, plenty of leg, it is good, good, Martin Gramatica, Bucks lead 12-9, broken hearts wear blue in Carolina. Tampa Bay's offense finally displayed the finishing kick it had been lacking when a healthy Brad Johnson returned to the lineup. Brad Johnson dropping three-man run. Brad throws on the end zone. Oh, Touchdown, The Buccaneers rolled to their highest point total of the regular season. Brutalizing Minnesota initially with a strong ground game that featured both starting running backs, as well as their talented understudy. Aaron Stecker gives us some juice, and he scoots to a little hole off left guard, and he's down the sideline for a 61-yard run. How about that? With the Vikings focused on the run, the Bucks burned them with play action. Ball stopped the tailback, and he'll get the play action fake Brad Johnson. Wide open, Keyshawn Johnson, touchdown Tampa Bay! It was the opening act for what proved to be the Johnson & Johnson show. Brad threw for more than 300 yards, while Keyshawn hauled in nine receptions, including two for scores. Quick snap, three-step drop, pump fake, Brad Johnson throws the pass, After their bye week, the rejuvenated Buccaneers returned to action against Carolina, and Pro Bowl safety John Lynch couldn't wait to get started. I knew you'd be out here, man. Let's go to war now, huh? Let's dominate. Dominate all day long. Let's go. We take the next step today. As physical as football game as we played all year right here, and they'll quit. Get a little bounce, fellas. <laughs> Win on three. One, two, three. Hey, Dexter. Wind's going that way, so take a couple extra steps on deep balls. Unfortunately, Lynch didn't heed his own advice. Fake. 
Pete's got a lot of time. Throws for Smith. Caught it! Touchdown! I actually thought that John Lynch was going to have a chance for interception. Make a dang play on the ball. When the wind got that ball, I kind of had a pick. Man. I went from thinking on that one I had to pick to, oh, Ever the unflappable veteran, Lynn shook off the touchdown and spent the remainder of the day pulverizing the Panthers. The rest of the defense got some licks in as well. I got the win now. Got the win now. We got to make you take advantage. There would be no mercy from Chucky. Gruden's astute play calling produced an 86-yard drive that ended with the game-tying score. Play action, fake Brad Johnson looking, going to his left, caught! Keith Brad Johnson, touchdown Tampa Bay! Thank you, thank you. Then Tampa took the lead for good on a second score with nary a defender in sight. So the short drop, Brad looking, firing to the left, it's caught! Wide open! Hey Mac, I see you. Way to turn him around, baby. Let's go, nine nine. That's how we like it, man. Let's go. What the Bucks liked From best was forcing right. more turnovers. Here's the snap play action fake by Pete, dropping Pete. Oh, ball knocked away. It's and on the ground. Bucks have the football, and Warren Sapp recovers it. See you, nine nine. Sapp's takeaway made Lynch greedy for one of his own. You know, it's been a quiet game for us. Just stay with it, man. I got nothing going on either. But we're going to get our shot right here. We're going to get our shot. I got some assists. <laughs> Pete rolling to his right throw. No, oh, it's batted down. John Lynch, the strong safety. Got a paw on it. And he was reading those eyeballs of Rodney Pete. Catch it. That spray is still killing me down there. Uh, I got to make up for it. I got to make up for it. Still looking for atonement. Lynch finally put the Panthers away. Dropping the throw. Here comes Heat. Here comes Heat. Gets the ball. It's intercepted by John Lynch at the 31-yard line. John Lynch said, that's my ball. This is my house. Give it to me. What's up, baby? Here we go. Hey. Top of that division, baby. Let's go. Where's Joe Diaco at? Years, How long have you been here? 27 years. You ever been 8-2? Never, sir. I said, but I say 8-2, man. 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-2, 8-
John Gruden's offense became child's play for Brad Johnson with each passing week. His two scoring passes would be just the taste of a red-hot home stretch. Play action, bootleg, running right, throws it back, it's caught, touchdown! Win gave Tampa Bay a league best record of 9 and 2, though few people realize it amidst the controversy surrounding the aggressive play of Warren Sapp. When the war of words subsided, the Buccaneers would be universally viewed as the team to beat. In New Orleans, they called out the witch doctor, but all the voodoo in the world couldn't contain NFC sack leader Simeon Rice, whose three sacks contributed to a record-breaking performance. It's Simeon Rice is the all-time king for multiple sacks in a row. Five straight games. Brooks dropping under the shotgun. He splashed out. Fumble football. It's in the end zone. It goes through for a safety. Bucks lead 2 nothing. Simeon Rice has a hat trick. Simeon Rice is playing lights out football. While Rice cooked Aaron Brooks, Mike Allstott ran wild through the New Orleans secondary. Brad Johnson, play action, fake, picked up, gets the pass, caught Allstott, 40, 35 to the 30, Allstott to the 25 to the 20, Allstott to the 15, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, touchdown, Tampa Bay! Bucks retake the lead. Johnson, quick hard slam around, caught, touchdown, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We got to go work right now. We got to go work right now, boy. Right now. We got to go work right now. Trailing by three, Tampa Bay set its sights on stopping the Saints. He's getting sacked. Now get all pressure on me. Watch the screens, watch the draws, watch the three step, and watch that ball coming out quick. The Bucs stopped the draws and screens cold, but when a quick pass found the mark, New Orleans was able to run out the clock. And throw the quick slam, and the catch is made! The catch is made for the first down by Joe Horn! Surprisingly swept by New Orleans, Tampa Bay had seen the NFC South suddenly turn into a three-team race. Leading the division by just half a game, Tampa Bay hosted the Falcons, who were riding an eight-game unbeaten streak, and featured the hottest act in football. With a unique ability to get inside opponents' heads, Michael Vick had single-handedly vanquished the Vikings. The entire National Football League wondered how Tampa Bay was going to stop the newly anointed ultimate weapon. Let's play our ball. They don't watch number seven. Number seven, watch us. Watch this Bucks defense swarm. Watch them swarm. Heard it all. We've seen it all. First place game. This man's challenged us. His team's challenged us. Let's come, come, step up, step up, like Drew's been talking about all week. Step up. Let's go win a damn championship. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. It wasn't a matter of if the Falcon shining star would fade amidst the specter of the league's top defense. The question was when and how painful it would be. Hands the ball off. No, he's going to run. Drag down. I want to be on the highlight film, and he just made a highlight play. We've got to be ready for run all the time, but definitely in that dot. If we get that trap or pull, shoot our gun. Tampa Bay's silver bullet was Derek Brooks, who was assigned to shadow Vic's left side. This positioning enabled him to close down passing lanes while providing limited escape routes should Vic decide to run. Prone to rolling out left, Vic often found himself hemmed in with nowhere to turn. In the first half, the issue was settled quickly and definitively. Michael Vick was no match for the Buccaneers. I can't even set up the door. I can't even set up. I can't even set up. Vick's frustration led to the kind of mistakes rattled young quarterbacks tend to make, and the kind for which Tampa Bay makes their opponents pay dearly.
The statistics spoke for themselves. For Michael Vick, nine yards rushing, 125 passing. Vick was shut down, the experts were shut up, and Atlanta was nearly shut out. then made surgical use of a blunt object named Mike Allstock. Allstock ran behind textbook blocking. Every man got a man, and Allstock found a clear route to the outside. Brad Johnson outdueled his young counterpart, throwing for four touchdowns. Two scoring passes went to Joe Juravicious, and two more went to Keenan McCardell. all week. You kept your cool. They talked about the great Michael Vick. He's a great talent. How you gonna stop Michael Vick? How you gonna stop him? Now one word was said about how somebody's gonna stop this defense. Remember that. The greatness of this defense is ahead. Or we're gonna finish strong. Tampa Bay next visited a Lions team which had lost five in a row. The passing duo of Brad and Keyshawn Johnson did little to help their fortune. Throws the seam route. Keyshawn makes the catch at the Lion 20 yard line. Keyshawn hangs onto the ball at the 20. The Bucks passing game loosened up the ground attack. Mike Allstott and Michael Pittman each added a touchdown to keep Tampa Bay ahead of the upset minded Lions. When Detroit tied the game in the fourth quarter, Johnson passed Tampa Bay toward the go-ahead score. Good snap, the whole Tupa kick here for Dramatic. It is good! The Lions sleep tonight. Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh simply don't like one another. A primetime setting provided the perfect opportunity to settle their differences. Monday night, baby, what's up? Great show tonight, baby. What's up? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida, baby. We all. Let's go, go, go. Hey, go, go. Got one thing to say. While the Buccaneers were fired up, Pittsburgh rode an emotional high of its own to an early 17 to nothing lead. With Brad Johnson injured, it was up to the defense to stop the bus and stifle the Steelers. Time and again, Tampa Bay threatened, but could only manage a single touchdown. The loss would be their most painful of the season. It would also be their last. The old cold story about the Buccaneers' inability to win in freezing weather finally went south in chilly Champaign, Illinois. The last remnant of losing days gone by was buried in a defensive avalanche. Chicago's Henry Burris threw four interceptions, and the Bears didn't enter the Tampa Bay red zone until the game was already settled. With the Bears' offense on ice, Tampa Bay held the ball for over 37 minutes, winning by way of five Martin Gramatica field goals. In earning their franchise record 12th regular season win, the Buccaneers were ready for a Super Bowl run. A 
Super Bowl feeling is contagious, starting with a feverish ground swell and exploding throughout the grandstand. Adrenaline flows like water, game faces galore, and that's before the kickoff. It's our quest, not theirs. One on three, one, two, three, win. Brad Johnson showed no ill effects following a three-week injury layoff. On the contrary, the quarterback flawlessly orchestrated an unstoppable attack. Warren Sapp checks in. As a tight end, he is eligible. 44 right, inches for a touchdown. The snap, handoff, all time running away. Right, three, two, one. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Warren Sapp, the leading blocker. And the box score first at 6 nothing. Dropping back Johnson on third down, throws the ball toward the end zone. It is all caught! Yes. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Touchdown, Joe Joe Avengers! The Bucs lead 13-3! Great catch, Joe! Boy, talk about a perfect pass, though, Gary. I don't know how you stop that. Take on the blue leg. Brad Johnson looking, throwing across the middle. Caught! Touchdown! How about this? The Bucks take a little over a minute to push it up the field, 52 yards. How you feel, good? Long drives. Nearly all of San Francisco's drives ended in frustration. Led by John Lynch, the defense laid a physical pounding on the 49. But it was quarterback Jeff Garcia who bore the brunt of the defensive assault. The mobile Garcia was battered and beaten until finally his usually accurate passing arm betrayed him. Garcia running to his right, going, oh, it's all, oh, it's bobble pick, it's intercepted, picked off on the 25, Bucks have the ball, Darren Brooks has another one. <laughs> I told you you can get off on him so good, but he's slow out of his stance. You can get off on him all day. He can't do nothing to stop him. Another unstoppable force was Mike Allstock. Checks in. Mike Allstock gets the ball, runs left. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And the Bucks score again. And the Bucks lead the 49ers 28 to 6. Say you say play offense and defense? Yeah. I play offense and defense. Both top fast. Sap helped lead the way, but the key blocks were made by Kerry Jenkins, number 71, who pulled left and took out not one, but two San Francisco defenders. How many plays are you running right there? Two? Two and three? That's what I like it right there. While the 49ers had come from 24 points down to win the previous week, Monty Kiffin's defense forced five turnovers and sent San Francisco home for the season. Patrick ball deflects out of his hands, taken by Tampa Bay, and they've got another turnover. Your final, 31-6, our Bucks are victorious. Hey guys, congratulations, man. You're 60 minutes away now. You're 60 minutes away from the mountain that you guys wanted to climb now. You're 60 minutes. I love you guys, man. I love you. I'm so happy for you. Worked your asses off to get to this stage now. Now we've got to have our best week of football. And again, it's about us, nobody else. It is 27 degrees. For Tampa Bay, revenge was a dish best served cold. And the friendly city has been unkind to our Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's get out. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Good job. Man. Tell your wife to sell. I will. I'm happy yeah. for you, Mr. Lurie. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, you too. I know you don't mean that. <laughs> Once again, the Philadelphia Eagles blocked the Buccaneers' road to the Super Bowl. So we get sent. You can feel the electricity. We're the best secondary in this house. We're the best team in this house. Dramatica kicks it. The game is underway. It is coming down to Mitchell at the 8. And across the 10, 15, 20. Cuts back at the 25, 30. 
Can somebody tackle Brian Mitchell? 35 40. Gets a block. He's in midfield. He's at the 40. Cuts back again. Finally tackled inside the box 30. Listen to this eagle cry. Running play. Do stay up the middle. He's at the 15. The 10. Cuts back at the 5. Struck like lightning. The gauntlet had been thrown down, but Tampa Bay refused to panic. Rather, it followed a game plan featuring a no huddle attack, passing underneath the Birds' vaunted secondary. Brad Johnson was unflappable while the Philly defense seemed unnerved by the Quaker City noise pollution. I can't hear the calls. I'm, I'm trying to run. I'm trying to hear it. Barbara, but he can't hear me. I'm trying, trying to stand home. I did it. I did it. But let me tell you, guys. Gruden's strategy was to send the flow of the play one way and create mismatches on short passing routes, such as defensive linemen paired against Ken Dilger. Keep it up! Keep it up! Let's go! Keep it up! Keep going! Let's go! On defense, the goal was simple. Force turnovers by providing constant pressure on Donovan McNabb. Boy, the Eagles are in trouble. They are in trouble. This has been a suffocating Tampa Bay defense. In deep in its own end, Tampa Bay changed the complexion of the game with one play. Brand looking, going over the, it's caught Jurevicius. 35 to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Oh, on the sideline, Joe. 35, 30, Jurevicius to the 20, 15, 10. He's on the bounds of the five-yard line. You go, Joe. You go, Joe. He put all the afterburners and outran everybody. Where did that come from? He's got... Barry Gardner guarding him, and that linebacker against Jurevicius is a poor matchup. I have not seen Joe Jurevicius run that fast ever. And this Bucks team doesn't look the least bit cold. Your baby was born yesterday, and you're trying to score a touchdown for it. Oh, my oh, goodness. Mike Allstott capped off a 96-yard drive and gave Tampa Bay a 10-7 lead. Eight. He blew the whistle. He get out of the way. Bell stop running left. Powers the shoulder. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Mike Allstott takes it to the house. 96 yard drive. 96 yard drive, baby. 96 yard drive. He gets all the ball back. He's trying to go, baby. Nice shot. I don't know what we got to do. But we got to get some pass rush. Yeah. We ain't going to win this game. Yeah. With their team trailing, the locals grew restless and their target wore number 19. As if on cue, Johnson keyed an 80-yard drive with three catches, the third going for six points. Brad Johnson, hard slam, caught, keys up, touchdown, Tampa Bay! Great throw, Brad Johnson, 17 to 10. Mr. Reliable, Brad Johnson. As the cucumber getting the ball right to Mr. Lavo himself, number 19, Keyshawn Johnson. As night fell on the city of brotherly love, it became evident that the Bucks' Philadelphia curse was dying. Rondé Barber sought to kill it for good. Barber's lightning quick blitz stripped the Eagles of the ball and whatever momentum they had. It's ruled a fumble, and the Bucks have it. Rodney Barber forces the fumble. And Ellis Wims gobbles up that big kid and says, It's mine, it's mine, I got it. By the end of the third quarter, Brad Johnson and company were in complete control. Wearing gloves for the first time in his career, Johnson drove Tampa Bay toward a lead stretching field goal. Seven yard field goal with it. High snap. Dug it. Here's the kick. Airborne. Martin Gramatica has got another one. It's good. It was worry time in South Philly, which Rondé Barber would turn into full blown panic. Bucks. 327 to go. McNabb dropping. That's intercepted. And the 10 to the 20. He's gone. Gone coast to coast. Rondé Barber. To the 50. To the 40. Barber to the 30. Nobody's going to touch him. Rondé Barber. 10-5, touchdown, Tampa Bay! A 95-yard interception return, Bucks lead 26-10. At 
the snap, Barber had shown blitz once again, but instead of rushing McNabb, he peeled back into coverage, putting himself in prime position for the interception. season history. Boy, that's the dagger. That is the dagger. Go home, Eagle fans. You can head to the uh, exits right now. Woo! Pro Bowl my ass, baby. I'm going to San Diego, damn it. Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Super Bowl! Super Bowl! The Buccaneers are the champions of the NFC. How about that? We're going to the Super Bowl. Welcome to San Diego, California, Super Bowl 37. It is Tampa Bay versus the Oakland Raiders. Super Bowl 37 was a championship full of firsts. For the first time in 27 years, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were playing for Pro Football's ultimate prize. The three-time world champion Oakland Raiders were their opponent. Never before in a Super Bowl had the NFL's number one defense face the number one offense. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. We've been working this for a long time. You saw the opportunity. There can only be one. You hear me? There can only be one. In the most intriguing Super Bowl first of all, the Bucks' fiery leader, John Gruden, would battle the team he had Let's led go. just a Let's season go. earlier. Let's go! Gotta love this, don't you? Jesus, cry man. Losers four years, the littlest buck brought along a little luck. Schematic, all right. Yeah. Saw him in his locker. He was he does that prayer thing. rubbing all his lucky coins, man. When the coin was tossed, the Bucks took the ball. Three plays later, they wish they hadn't. Give me trips right tight. Zebra left. 58 Delta. Zebra choice. Third and five. You can just feel the electricity of the air. Johnson comes up, throws off his back. Football people intercepted by Watson on the 48. And Johnson threw a flutter duck. Let's go 888. 888. Nasty, nasty. Defense needed to be at its nasty best right away. And it was as Simeon Rice steamrolled Rich Gannon, forcing Oakland to settle for a field goal. Yeah. Right now, both quarterbacks are under siege. Each defensive line is winning the respective battle. In order to settle his quarterback down, John Gruden selected one of the simpler plays from his playbook. Now listen, this is Super Trojan. Far west, right, slot, X short, 200 jet smoke, X choice. Far west, right slot, X short, 200 jet smoke, X choice. In other words, a short toss to Joe Juravicious running free on a crossing run. Dropping Johnson, looking Johnson, stepping over, does the ball, caught Juravicious, to the 50, to the 45, you go Joe to the 30. Our man. Juravicious gained 23 yards, as did San Diego native Michael Pittman on the very next play. The snap, a good one, the hole on the spot, and the kick is airborne. It is good, flirted with the left upright. And the Bucks have tied the Raiders, 3-3. Three, three. Super Bowl 37 hung in a great balance. The league's best offense, the league's best defense, 
which would tip the scales. The answer came early. The Bucks front four blew away the Raiders front five. There was no place to run and no time to pass. John Gruden seemed to know exactly what Bill Callahan would do. Anticipating where the Raiders would attack, John Lynch and the defense held a decisive edge. Hey, Sluggo seam. Ready, attack. And they'll send Rice in motion, dropping Gannon, dropping Gannon, flush to his right, flush to his right, throws it down. It's picked off, intercepted by Dexter Jackson to midfield. I told you, baby. I told you, was it Sluggo seam? Dexter. Dexter Jackson, the free safety, stepped in front of Doug Jolly. Hey, Mike, was it Sluggo C? Yeah, yeah. I told him right before. Yeah. Call it, Monty. I called it. I called told it. him right before the snap. It's Sluggo C. Next possession, same result. Another interception by Dexter Jackson. Dexter Jackson to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. He's to the 45. Dex Jackson out of Quincy, Florida, has two. Raiders, after the first series on the interception, have gone three and out every single time. Mike, every play they've run, we ran in practice. I know. It's unreal. It's unreal. It's unreal. It's unreal. It's unreal. You mean Tiger? Tiger Pittman! Tiger, Tiger, Pittman. Tiger Mike Pittman! Tiger Pittman! Up 6-3, to three, the Bucks unleashed Michael Pittman's speed and Michael Stott's power to score the game's first touchdown. Once they get inside the five, they give you Mike Allstott. All 6'1", 250 pounds of them. Moving left, second down goal. Hand off Allstott. Up the gut, Mike Allstott. Touchdown! Tampa Bay! Boy, Mike Allstott just lowered his head and his shoulder. And he said, come up here, you old guys, and tackle me, and nobody wanted a piece of it. With his new team up by 10, Gruden now looked to put a chokehold on his old one. Hey, don't give him nothing here! Don't give him room to breathe! Tampa Bay's defense punched the Raiders squarely in their unpatched eye. The result, just three first downs, only 62 first half yards, and plenty of battered bodies and bruised egos. It's going on. Super Bowl 37. The defense has been lights out. Let's score box. That's what it works. Yeah, working as one. Wrong. Four. Working as one. Four. Working as one. Less than a minute remained in the half. The Bucks were at the Raider five. Nickel 41. Kill 374. Wash. You guys like this? Here's the snap. Brad dropping. Throwing the hot receiver. Call. Charles Woodson. Yeah, the Raiders have certainly dug themselves in a deep hole. Was that a bullet or was it a dagger? Gruden's script was being executed to perfection. But as the second half began, Brad Johnson decided to improvise. Brad, they run. Oh, yeah, Brad. Brad Johnson is going to scramble. Get down, please. Put the ball under your head. Hold on to it, Brad Johnson. He looked like the galloping ghost. Take that. It's bonus. The John Elway moment. Johnson may not be John Elway, but he definitely was having his moment as he led the Bucks on a 14-play drive. on the bootleg. Brad Johnson rolling right, going right. It's caught by Dagger. Bucks have it first and goal. A 12-yard throw and catch. Dagger wanted to score a touchdown. Almost got it in. Come on, man. We're going to score. We got to score seven, baby. Hey, Brad. 
He's smart. Green right close. Pass 14 solid. C slam drag. Throw it away if it's not there. Keaton. Brad Johnson looking left, looking right. Look, 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 look,
took 27 years to get here. It took us 60 minutes to bring home the trophy. The headlines are ready. The Bucks are the pro champions of the world. How about that, Mr. Glazer? Huh? We did it, man. Best in the world, man. <laughs> Golly, I love you, man. Can't thank you. I can't tell you how much I love you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> The celebration had officially begun. I can't believe it. I'm so Jakey, we did it, buddy. But the Bucks' defensive dominance would not end. Here's the pass, and it's picked off, intercepted, down the sideline, touchdown, Tampa Bay! Floyd Smith with the ultimate exclamation point on Tampa's Super Bowl triumph. <laughs> the Buccaneers paid a king's ransom for John Gruden, but he was worth every penny. And now Tampa Bay rules the NFL. That's what John Gruden did so well is make us believe. He came in his first day and said, we're going to win a world championship. And we never wavered from that thought. You know, we love that guy. And thank you to Malcolm Glazer and that great Glazer family that really saved the day when they took over ownership for this franchise. They said we couldn't do it, baby. And they said we couldn't do it. The Lombardi Trophy resides in Tampa, Florida. How about them Buccaneers?